Welcome to episode 3 of What Have We Learnt or Wahoola, where I look back over the last week and consider what we've learnt from watching the Premier League for another week. If you like what you see then subscribe to the channel with notifications on and check out some of the other videos on the channel as well, that'd be great, thank you. As a little trial as well, I'm releasing this as a podcast so if you haven't got the time to watch this now or if you want to listen to it on the way to work then you can download it as well to listen to. So the first thing that I've learnt this week is that our second string is incredible. I think that we could really go deep in a cup competition with the second string that we've got. If you think back to the early rounds of the cup last year with players like Dave Edwards and Jack Price and Michael Zyro, that sort of group trying to implement Nuno's philosophy on the pitch, it didn't quite work. They weren't the right players to achieve that high-pressing, possession-based, attacking football that we've become accustomed to under Nuno. Uh, but now with our second string with players like Sace and Dendonka and even John Ruddy in goal who've been playing under Nuno for this a year or longer who understand the philosophies and are good players I think we've got a good chance of going deep in a cup competition we've got Leicester in the next round obviously in a couple of weeks time so hopefully we can get a good result there and push on further in that competition as well that'd be great the second thing that we've learnt is that the press love us Last time we were in the Premier League, back in 2009-12, to I don't remember there being much praise for the Wolves team. I thought that we were quite an unfashionable team in the way that Mick McCarthy had set us up, similar to that of Cardiff nowadays, in that we were very long ball and battling, and it was not particularly pretty to watch. But Alan Shearer has been very complimentary on uh, Match of the Day, labelling us as being magnificent against West Ham. He's also picked Patricio Neves and Moutinho in his teams of the week so far. Robbie Savage has picked Doherty, uh, Patricio and Moutinho from the game against West Ham for his team of the week. Um, and the Football Ramble podcast as well, which I listened to, was very complimentary about Wolves and over the whole of the season so far. And they said that now we've got our first win under our belts, they could really see us pushing on up the table. We, just, we had the good performances, but now we've had the three points to supplement that. The next thing that we've learned is Johnny Johnny is awesome. Uh, there's a reason why Atletico Madrid have signed him. He's a very, very good left wing back. Uh, the way that he defends when we're without the ball is superb. I think he's one of our best defenders uh, at the moment. We sort of consider him and Doherty as being midfield players, but really they do have a job defensively and he's carried out that magnificently. The stats from the game against West Ham make very good reading for him he had the most tackles on the pitch with seven he was he had the joint most interceptions with four the most fouled player on the pitch with four fouls against him two key passes and a 94.3 percent passing accuracy rate which is superb thanks to scotty wwfc and musings from molyneux for sharing those stats on twitter earlier on the worry that i had about him being weak on his left foot early on in pre-season i think has eased a little bit he's shown that he's his ability on the ball is brilliant and he's, what impresses me most is the way that he intercepts and reads the game uh, when the balls come across to the wingers he's anticipating it really quickly and he gets out there and intercepts those balls really well and the final thing for this week that we've learnt is that Rui Patricio for me is the best goalkeeper in the Premier League we've seen last week his saves against Manchester City uh, particularly the Sterling one when he tipped it onto the bar was a probably the best save I've ever seen from a Wolves goalkeeper at Molyneux amazing reflex save to deny that looping header from Antonio at the weekend which I can't imagine John Ruddy having the the agility to be able to get to and then the save with his face from Arnautovic late on in the game in the last 10 minutes uh, and now he's starting to get recognition from a wider audience I think from what I understand from the comments that I've had on my videos over the last few weeks that Portuguese people understand and know that Patricio is a top goalkeeper but because he hasn't played outside of the Portuguese leagues he hasn't had that recognition from a wider audience but he's certainly getting it now being as I mentioned earlier being, being picked in teams of the week um, and then as well if you Talking about being the best in the Premier League, David De Gea's shot to saves ratio at the moment is very, very weak. He may have improved that um, against Burnley, but before the Spurs game, it was something like he conceded 10 goals for 15 shots that he'd faced, which is for a top goalkeeper is very, very poor. Uh, Alisson made a horrendous mistake against Leicester to concede a goal there. Uh, Czech cannot play under Emre with the ball at his feet that he wants him to. So that's something that's you know, worrying the top goalkeepers. 
Uh, and although Patric Patricio has only kept one clean sheet so far, he's certainly won us four points at the moment. And I think he's going to be the difference between us and other teams fighting around that middle of the table that we're hoping uh, that we'll be in at the end of the season. So let me know in the comment section what you've learned this week. And if you've enjoyed this video, then drop it a like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, check out some of the links in the description as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Miller waiting in the middle, Sean Newton for Wolves to have a three-goal lead at the break. They have a three-goal lead at the break. It is Kenny Miller. They can reach out and touch it.